Are you wanting to bring a little bit of that magic from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter to your house? Today I'm going to help make that possible by sharing my favorite recipe with you. Hi, I'm Sam, the Budget Family Travel Mama. I am here sharing everything that I've learned in my 12 years of counting with you of how to travel with your family on a budget. For the Halloween season, I thought I would do a mini-series on Wizarding World of Harry Potter recipe copycats. I absolutely love the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, and part of the fun of the parks is the food and the treats. Today, I'm going to share with you my number one favorite thing that I always get every time we go to the parks, and that is my copycat recipe for pumpkin juice. This is my absolute favorite treat. It is my go-to. For years, I tried to recreate the taste of pumpkin juice at home. I tried a bunch of different recipes and none of them were quite as good as what I had in the park. So I decided to make my own. But before we start brewing this potion, I need to get into my robes. That's better. Now let's get brewing our potion. Every good potions master knows that the ingredients are the most important part of the recipe. So let's start off with those. Let's start by looking at the ingredients on the actual bottle from the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So our ingredients are water, apple juice concentrate, pumpkin puree, apricot puree, sugar, natural and artificial flavors, citric acid, something I can't say potassium, sodium benzate. My ingredients are a little bit different. First, you're going to need two cups or 15 ounces of pumpkin puree. The next thing that you need is one can of apple juice concentrate. Then you need a can of peach nectar, two tablespoons of tang, drink mix, two tablespoons of lemonade drink mix, I prefer country time, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one eighth a teaspoon of ground cloves, a half a teaspoon of pumpkin spice, an eighth a teaspoon of fresh ground ginger, and finally one tablespoon of citric acid. If you're afraid to use citric acid, don't be. Many people use it in their canning recipes. And also if you eat Sour Patch Kids, that is the stuff that's covering your Sour Patch Kids. Now that we have all our ingredients together, let's get this potion brewing. If you're a witch or wizard, go ahead and get out your size two pewter cauldron. If you don't happen to have a cauldron lying around the house, then go ahead and get out your handy dandy blender. We're gonna take all of the ingredients and add them into the blender. Let's start with the pumpkin. Next, we're going to add in our peach nectar. Now let's add our apple juice concentrate. Our lemonade mix, our tang mix, and all of our spices. Let's put on our lid now and mix this potion up. The last ingredient that you need to add is water. Those of you that like your pumpkin juice super strong, you will add less water than those of you that like it nice and smooth. So let's take it off and test a little bit. We'll pour just a little bit into a little testing cup. Just enough to get a little taste. Oh, yeah, that is good, but really strong. You definitely need to add some water. Now we're going to add four cups of water. And mix it up again. Try it again. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. So the next time you want a taste of the Wizarding World of Harry Potter at home, be sure to whip up this quick recipe for pumpkin juice. That's as good as Madame Rose Marta's. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, please click the like button down below and comment down below and let me know what your favorite Harry Potter treat is. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you again next time.